Hey guys, Michael from Fire and Brilliance, and welcome to the Geminar live stream. Today we're talking about salt and pepper gemstones. Now, the three questions that we're going to go over today will be: uh, What are salt and pepper gemstones? Are salt and pepper gemstones preferred? And why are most lab-grown gems eye clean and not salt and pepper? I'm gonna get right into it for you. You guys are new to the channel um obviously welcome uh but then at the same time but this is a live stream many times we were, in the past when we did gemini's we're not live stream so this is something that we're doing that is new so i hope you guys enjoy okay so today's episode again will be about salt and pepper gemstones more specifically salt and pepper natural diamonds as well as salt and pepper moissanite uh so let's go ahead and get right into it for you i'll go ahead and show you a few slides and a few pictures and also a few videos so that you can also see for yourself so go ahead and stay tuned all right so um what does it mean to say that a gemstone is included all a salt and pepper gemstone basically means is that it's an included gemstone so inclusions are basically impurities and imperfections inside of a gemstone especially for natural gemstones that is created in nature uh, obviously these uh, natural gemstones normally do not always come flawless meaning it's uh without imperfections and impurities so gemstones most gemstones do have imperfections and impur impurities so uh, so a gemstone without impurities or inclusions and external blemishes are actually called flawless. So many times if you see stuff online or you see videos and YouTube or, or, or TikTok or whatever, and you see a lot of these jewelers or even people that love to wear jewelry, they talk about flawless diamonds or flawless gemstones. They're usually referring to a very a perfect a gemstone. And again, the word perfect can be subjective, but what it means by perfect in a gemstone means without imperfections or impurities. Today's episode, specifically, we're going to go over what the difference means when it, we're talking about salt and pepper, moissanite and diamonds versus uh, a flawless moissanite and diamond, meaning is it included or is it not included? And again, I'm going to show you a few pictures. So as you can see here, uh, these are three images okay uh, and you can see clearly from left to right uh the left is a heavily included diamond uh, which basically means not eye clean so what does it mean by eye clean and not eye clean let me go ahead and uh, uh, explain that to you i've already made a video of this uh, about maybe a month and a half ago so um we'll go ahead and make sure that we link it out the towards the end uh, so that you could take a look at it especially if you're watching after the live stream but that said a heavily included uh, diamond uh, is or moissanite is not eye clean. And all that means is that can you see the inclusions with your naked eye without the use of equipment, loops, or microscopes, right? So if you could see it with the naked eye, then that means it is not eye clean. And what it means to be eye clean is if it's perfect in terms of without imperfections and inclusions with the naked eye. So from left to right here, as you can see, uh, the heavily included diamond is not eye clean. And if you take a look uh, at all of the impurities and perfections inside, uh, basically it's trapped inside the diamond. And uh, believe it or not, many people actually do love that look because it gives it a very unique look and as how nature intended it to be, right? Uh, but if you go left to right, uh, the center stone here is slightly included, uh, which is basically a picture of a slightly included diamond. It's still not eye clean because if you take a look at it with your naked eye, uh, you can still see some imperfections inside of the gemstone uh, now all the way to the right is an eye clean diamond and all that means is that if you take a look at it there can you see any specks of imperfections can you see uh, any impurities can you see anything that is stuck inside of the gemstone and if you can't see it with the naked eye then it's basically again the terminology uh, in the industry is called eye clean uh, now go back to the uh, previous um um, uh, the previous picture there. Um, the uh, what I'm still referring to is even though it's eye clean, as you can see, all the uh, the picture all the way to the right, it does not necessarily mean that is a stone without imperfections because with a loop or a microscope, you may still be able to see an imperfection under one of the facets. Maybe it might be very small. Might it might be a clear imperfection, uh, but it does not necessarily mean that it's a flawless diamond, right, or a moissanite. All that basically means is eye clean. Okay, just because you can't see what the naked eye uh, you might be able to see it with under a microscope so that said um uh but you know the 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 thing about it as well is that many people uh, do care uh, if they want a flawless diamond obviously the price uh, can vary 
quite significantly if you are looking for a flawless diamond. Uh, but the difference here uh, is that, you know, most people, as long as you can't see with the naked eye, they're, they're absolutely fine with that. All right. So, um, but I want to show you a video here. Uh, the next video is actually a 360 video zoomed in uh, under a microscopic lens, right, uh, where it shows a gemstone. Uh, obviously, that is not eye clean or a very heavily included diamond or the terminology in the industry uh, is a salt and pepper diamond or moissanite. This is a three carat F color I2 clarity. I2 uh, is typically, uh, it's very, very included. Uh, and then it's a natural diamond. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, you can see some inclusions all around the gemstone. Uh, it's going from top to bottom, left and right. Uh, you can see some dark spots. Um, you can, uh, you know, especially with the gemstone being a 360 with the reflections, sometimes a, an inclusion, if you don't know, might be on one side of a gemstone. But if you look in, it might appear as if on the opposite side of, opposite side of a gemstone because of the actual faceting. And you know, it gives it a mirror look. OK, so uh, so this is what a actual natural diamond. Okay, a three carat natural diamond. This is actually a very high color grade. It's actually an F color grade, uh, but it's very included. And it is a salt and pepper diamond, uh, basically coined in the industry for people that love the the included look. Okay, uh, and and many of you may be actually be confused, thinking, well, why would someone want this look? Believe it or not, many people do, and it's actually very beautiful, uh, depending on what you want to wear it, how you want to wear it, uh, because many people actually prefer the included look because it gives it a very natural appeal. Uh, many people actually like the uniqueness of it because every single um, gemstone, re regardless uh, if it's included, regardless if it's a lab or in nature, it's uh, it's like a fingerprint. It's, it's unique to its own. It's hard to duplicate uh, it, it, when it comes to inclusions because you can't uh, really duplicate uh, the same exact inclusion and the same side of the stone at the one angle uh, inside of a specific shape or size. So therefore, every single inclusion is unique to its own. And if it's included to that gemstone, uh, then that specific stone is 100% unique. Uh, I mean, I can't ever say anything is 100% because maybe someone can figure out how to duplicate an exact stone with the exact same inclusion, uh, but I highly doubt it's extremely hard to do. Okay, so, uh, so that is a, a video of an included diamond, but let me go ahead and show you what a video looks like of a flawless stone. Okay, so um, let's go to look here. This is a hundred percent flawless, meaning uh, there are zero inclusions inside of this gemstone, and there are zero blemishes, so not even a scratch on the surface of the diamond so as you as you look through this gemstone here uh, there are zero inclusions regard uh it's not even just not eye clean but under a microscope uh there are zero inclusions right so uh the difference between a salt and pepper diamond versus a salt and pepper uh i mean versus a natural diamond uh the price can vary quite significantly right uh because uh, more people do prefer um more of a clear gemstone uh but at the same time many people do love the salt and pepper look uh here at fire and brilliance we're here just providing you some um clarity in terms of educational purposes if you are looking for uh gemstones such as these uh we do not pick a side in terms of okay what's right and wrong and what you should do it's really up to you this is for your uh, educational purposes this is a three carat d color flawless clarity natural diamond and just to kind of give you an idea this d color is graded by gia so what you're looking here is a flawless diamond again without imperfections or inclusions inside of the gemstone even under a microscope all right, so um, let's go ahead and get going to the next slide here. Why do people love salt and pepper gemstones? Uh, now, as you can tell, if um, you know, for the last five to ten minutes since I've been talking here, uh, I've been really going over both salt and pepper and flawless diamonds. Uh, we won't be going over why people love uh, uh, flawless diamonds. I think most people understand why it's been it's been marketed that way for a very very long time. I'm going to specifically go over why people love salt and pepper gemstones diamonds moissanites what have you okay so included gemstones now uh the reason why people love salt and pepper gemstones is because there are people that love included gemstones they find it again unique and how nature truly intended the gemstone to be all right
Uh, they love the natural perfections and purities of the stone, which makes it unique. Again, similar to that of your own fingerprint. No two fingerprints are the same, or at least that's what most people assume. That's the reason why people get fingerprint because that's a, that is unique to you, right? So uh, the same goes for gemstones. If there are imperfections and inclusions inside the gemstone, then that's unique to that specific gemstone. And that's the reason why people love salt and pepper gemstones. Not only uh, not only because of that, but they also love that salt and pepper look. The like the the imperfections, the dark spots inside of the gemstone, and gives it a different look and appeal. Especially if you're a type of person that like to be unique. Um, so um, so that said, why are most lab grown gems eye clean versus natural gemstones? Uh, it's very um, uh, you know it's, it's common sense in a way because uh, a gemstone that is made in nature that has to be um, found inside of the earth's core um, it's actually created by nature and therefore it's very chaotic right over the, over thousands hundreds of thousands of millions of years uh, when the gemstone is made obviously it's very chaotic inside of the earth and therefore uh, many gemstones are created with imperfections there are imperfections and periods trapped inside of the carbon basically a diamond what's made of is almost 100 percent carbon uh, right it's just a, a hard piece of carbon that said uh, the reason why lab-grown gemstones usually come eye clean is because it's actually in a controlled environment. Uh, people are creating it in a lab, and therefore, they are specifically uh, trying to make a clear and eye clean gemstone because that's what many many people prefer. Uh, and because of that, then therefore, it's more of a controlled environment. So, so a natural diamond or a natural gemstone in nature usually uh, has imperfections, whereas a lab grown gemstone usually is more eye clean. Uh, now that said, let me go ahead and read over a few bullet points here. Lab grown gems are grown in and created in a lab. It is also in a controlled environment, like I said. Uh, unlike nature, that is chaotic, impurities and perfections can be regulated by people. Now, that said, um, you know, there is a specific gemstone. Uh, there's actually two uh, that can uh, have inclusions. Now, all of them can have inclusions even in a lab. Okay, let's just put it that way. Uh, but uh, there's one specific gemstone that I've gone over again in my previous video about impurities and eye clean gemstones. Uh, it's actually a green emerald. Lab green emeralds may have a lot of inclusions because of the way it's actually uh, grown. Uh, but the other one that we have discovered recently is that uh, there are also salt and pepper moissanite. Now, salt and pepper moissanite is a very proprietary way of actually creating these gemstones. It's very, very, very hard to do and very, very few few companies are actually offering it these days okay so that said um, it's not something that's easy to find uh, we are here obviously proud that fire bros is one of the companies that do uh, have salt and pepper moissanite now that said what a salt and pepper moissanite is is it shares similarities of included diamonds uh, imperfections and impurities of apparent uh, are apparent in salt and pepper moissanite each stone is again just like lab dime i mean just like diamonds uh, of salt and pepper diamonds uh, are unique to itself because it's very hard to duplicate uh, another imp impurity of the same gemstone, right? Uh, and most salt and pepper moisten, it has to be custom cut and no two stones are identical in color, clarity, and inclusion. So um, so that said, is again, it's like a fingerprint. It's very hard to do, very hard to cut. It's a proprietary method. Uh, and therefore, salt and pepper moissanite is actually a gemstone uh, that many people are actually looking for. And therefore, again, uh, Fire and Brilliance is one of the companies that actually provides it uh, as well. Okay, so uh, I hope you guys uh, was able to, were able to learn something here. Uh, the salt and pepper uh, coin uh, term, is, it, it, all it basically is, is a inclusion included gemstone uh, that people prefer uh, if they are looking for something that is unique, uh, that is something that is unique to them and, and prefer that look. And they do have salt and pepper gemstones and all gemstones from natural gemstones to moissanite. And at the same time, if you like included colored gemstones, then you might want to look at lab grown emeralds all right so uh that said thanks again guys for tuning in this is our second live gemini let us know if you like it we may eventually one day uh do a live gemini and maybe a q a at the end if you guys have any questions for me personally uh then maybe we could go over a quick q a uh, every single week uh we are going to try to do this every single wednesday 10 30 okay so we're still trying to figure out a time where our schedules uh schedules work um 
today specifically we were supposed to schedule at 10 so i apologize we had to change at 10 30. uh there's some um technical uh, items that we had to figure out but that said uh, we are going to try to do it from 10 30 moving forward and if you guys have any questions about anything at all jewelry related gems related anything at all uh, you guys keep me posted and we uh, we'll try to do a quick Q&A after every single Gemini moving forward. All right. So thanks again. Uh, and I'll see you again next time. And remember, if you are interested in learning about included gemstones or I, what the definition of eye clean gemstones are, we will provide you with a, uh, a quick link here uh, at the end for those that are watching after the live stream there will be a uh, an, a link on the previous video that we made so you could learn more in depth about eye clean gemstones thank you and goodbye